now the woman at the center of the firestorm, the organization of the Texas Draw the Profit event, Pamela Geller. Good evening, Pamela. Hello. All right. What were your motives in you know, organizing this event in Texas? Well, back in uh, January, in the wake of the Charlie Hebdo slaughter, Muslim groups held a conference, Stand with the Prophet Conference, in support of Sharia restrictions. Now, the bodies weren't even the, in the ground, and American Muslim groups were holding a conference in support of the ideology behind the slaughter. I mean, wouldn't that have been the time for American Muslim groups to stand for freedom of speech? But they don't, they don't believe in it as it relates to their religion. So you have this, you have this draw the profit uh, no, no, uh, contest. In the same spot, in the same room, in the same venue, we had a conference standing for freedom of speech. But by having a contest where you know there will be provocation, where they, in drawing Muhammad, are not only insulting their prophet, but is blasphemy, is considered blasphemy, punishable by death. Yes. Uh, were you worried that anybody there might be hurt? Well, listen, I've been having conferences like this for years. I've always had to have protection because of death threats. So this was protection protected like all of our conferences are. But I am not a Muslim, Judge. I don't adhere to Sharia law. And I think the eagerness of the media to kowtow and to impose the Sharia and to punish any of those, that's any of the, those of us that say no is extremely disturbing and dangerous. I don't think this conference was dumb. I think it was necessary. I mean, now. Well, what about the fact that, you know, your critics have accused you of being almost as bad as the jihadists? Let's take a look at this. What they want, they want a holy war. So Pamela Geller can contribute to getting us to that place or social change oh, that's can come from love, that can come outrageous. from treating people as Christians are instructed to treat people. But they want a holy war, she's playing into their hands. So actually no. her agenda is aligned with their agenda. Had you heard that one? No, but, but what do you say to that? I say the jihadic doctrine is inciting the war, not me. They were attacking our embassies. 9-11, there was no Pamela Geller. The subway plot. But isn't wait, wait, that wait. up to the military? Isn't it up to law enforcement to, to take that toe to toe with them? Let me ask you something. Were the people in those buildings wearing a uniform, Judge? Oh, there's no question that they weren't. The, but the but war now, is on us. The war is here. And the but war is on my freedom. What do you freedom. say to people who say that because of what you've done, that just forget about you, you have taken this stand, that you're putting police in jeopardy, you're putting people in jeopardy? I'm not putting people in jeopardy. The jihadists are putting people in jeopardy. They're here now. This is an Orwellian nightmare. I want to ask you something. Have you ever seen the media go after the Fort Hood jihadi, the Times Square bomber, the subway bomber? Look, if you heard my open, Pam, you know where I'm coming Listen, from. Listen, I'm, I'm right? not blaming you. I'm but what I'm trying to do here is to explain to viewers your position is based on your feeling that you need to bring this issue to the public. It's not a feeling. It must be done. We're abridging our freedoms to, so as not to offend savages. I'd like to know why okay. the hate that was directed at me was not directed at the Fort Hood Jihadi, not directed at the Times Square bomber, not directed at the Christmas Day bomber, not directed at the Christmas tree bomber. I can name, we don't have enough time for me to name the 25,000 deadly Islamic attacks since 9-11, each one with the imprimatur of a, of a Muslim cleric. It's not Pamela Geller. It's the jihadic doctrine. Why isn't anybody talking about the ideology? Does it surprise you that you have become the issue. It ha shocks me. It's astonishing. Did you ever expect that you would be at the center of this wild controversy? No. And I think that it's been very instructive to the American people on a lot of levels. First of all, the media is saying one thing, and I can tell you, Judge, I have received tens of thousands of emails and support. Please don't t stop. Finally, somebody's doing this. If you look at the comment sections, look at what's going on at this network. You know, when they say, we don't want to, we don't want to offend our allies in Egypt and Jordan, the coalition. I want to read one thing to you. Do that, it quickly, because yeah, I have one last that the question. That the president of, of Egypt said. Oh, well, oh yeah, El Sisi, I love it. We all know El Sisi is trying he to get rid of the jihadists. The corpus of texts and ideas that we have sacralized over centuries to point okay. to, to the point that departing from them has become impossible is antagonizing the whole world. Well, okay, let we me ask the questions. Are you afraid for your life? Of course I am. Are you willing to give your life for this? 
I have no choice. I don't want to live as a slave. I don't want to live as a slave. I will only live free. Do you free. think Sharia law is coming here? It's here. You were watching it in action. I'm dumb. I'm insightful. I didn't make the cartoons controversial. The jihadists made the contra cartoons controversial. Pam Geller, thanks for being with us this evening. Thanks All for having right. me. And developing tonight, the U.S. military.